Welcome to a dumb, dumb game with a bunch of different mod options. But that's not even the craziest thing. Because this is a very dumb game because it is a free-for-all, a six-player free-for-all, where people only use their commander. With, we've got Choma Langma already upgrading a Lobster Assassinator to level 2. It is a, like, Guardian commander, of a stri Striker commander. And in the blue over here, we've got Cabin Boy with a Recon Commander Boy. And yes, look, crazy mod options like 42 Eco, 122 uh, Energy Eco. I believe it was like times 10, times 5? Times 5, probably. Um, metal Income and like times 10 or times 20 Energy Income. With over here, Deep Blue Diamond in the yellow. With also an Assault Commander, level 2, level 2, so people know what to do. And over here, Kamatang with a level 1 Recon, the lowest ranked player in the game. Over here, we've got a Heavy Combat Guardian Commander, for Tivoris, right, T yeah, Tivoris, 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 in the purple, purple pinky kind of color. Over here, Talus in the orange, also with a heavy combat commander. Right. So, interesting to like see the different types of commanders. Even though a recon commander you would not assume is a... Um, what you call it? A like fighting commander. But nope, we actually do have them. People are just upgrading all of their commanders and all that. Okay. Not able to construct anything, just able to restore terrain. In terms of like terraform, everything else has been disabled. So yes, we do have win, but uh, who cares about that? People just running around with the commanders. No cloak, no D-gun. Because of course, yeah, they, I believe they played it before this kind of like matchup, this kind of game. Uh, and where, like, yeah, that's just kind of OP. I mean, if you cloak your commander, then... Or, like, you go for, like, the disintegrator gun, then all of a sudden, like, it's just sneak up on the enemy and you win. And if you don't want to lose, just cloak and hide. Like, that's not fun. So, of course, yeah, that's not allowed. And over here, well, we've got almost... We've almost got a little bit of a an, an engagement up north as well. So before we see the first engagement, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel because, yeah, it's a crazy game. It's a different game, that's for sure. But normally we have something else. So if you want to see those as well, just subscribe and you will probably be notified or not. I don't know. Just click it. You'll find out. Anyways, just hiding on the spike with the commander. Hello there, Kevin boy. Hello. How's everybody doing? I mean, it's a lot slower than I expected. But I mean, it does make sense. You're trying to get your commander upgraded to like the highest level. Though, what are you doing that is costing you 1.5 energy? Kevin boy, what are you doing? No, like really, what are you doing? 1.5 energy for what? Water OP. Why is water OP? Sudden death in 60 seconds. Oh no. Yeah, that's another one that I was like, oh yeah, yeah. A lot of mod options. Sudden death was one of those. So. Oh, we've got fighting over here. Yes, indeed we do. Although on the other side as well. So over here, commanders just like... Not a lot of fighting. Chomo, like, running away, not running away. These two are fighting. Tavoris, blue rank player, with, like, long-range weapons versus our stun gun recon commander. But, like, recon versus, like, heavy combat. Like, who do you expect to win that? You know what? I would say the recon is not likely to win. And the recon will die. That's one player already dead. Over here, though, shields. Shields make sense. I mean, what do you think? A shield 
this is a non-shield, like this is 5800, this is 6300. And all of a sudden, oh no, a lot of scorches, a lot of heat ray, and a dead commander. Sudden death has begun. Two players already dead, I mean I'm not really sure what sudden death is going to do, I mean sure. We've got a battle royale I guess, with the sudden death, but uh, if people at least want to play the game. And like this is stupid speed, like why? <laughs> Okay, I mean, sh sure. It does make a little bit of sense that it's like not exactly the most fair game. Okay, sure. About uh, still. I mean, just going for shields. Shields make sense, right? You get like 1250 extra HP, which is very nice. Do, do you have it disabled? Or is that because of you're in the water? It probably is, yes. And okay, so this is the first game I actually see with Sudden Death, and you know what? This circle is moving in to the perfect center of the map. So maybe it will move to like different positions later on? I don't know. I haven't really seen it. And over here, Cabin Boy with the Recon Commander makes some sense. I mean, you are able to just get on into places where other people are like not able to go. And just to explain to people, yes, being outside of circle does slowly kill you. Okay, so, Captain Boy, in a pretty safe position, but also like, oh, this is a level 6 heavy combat, level 5 mobile assault, level 4 heavy combat, and the forest with the longest range, is it longest range? Yes, I believe those are the longest range weapons, this is like highest DPS for like long distance. Because I do believe Scorcher, like Heat Ray, is more DPS, but only for like short distances. And well, Deep Blue Diamond with their little like, uh, oh wait, no, that's the Forest's uh, thingy drone. They are able to like at least get the shield gone for Captain Boy somewhat. Who well. Looking at position is in the best position right now, but it doesn't matter all that much. Also, like, yeah, zombies are turned on, so, like, every once in a while, they, some of these will, like, respawn. I believe. But they are outside of the circle, so it doesn't matter. And they're not going to move into the circle anyways. So. Level 5, Happy Lobster. Was that you? I believe so, because I don't know who else would just go on level 5. Oh, maybe the recon, sure. So, a lot of drones around this happy lobster. For sure. And over here, well, once again, fighting. But you've got shields, extra shields, like 8900 HP, 1250 shield versus 7500 HP total. So, DPS has to win it for you, the blue diamond. And right now, dodging as well, because that's something they can't really do. You've also got slowdown. Oh, because these are not actually the high DPS ones then. But, ooh, good shot there for Tevoris, but Tevoris will not live through it. Unless Kevin Boy just says a big old kaboom and helps them out. But they're not doing that. Do you have manual weapon? Yes, you do. What kind of manual weapon? I don't want to check right now. And there comes the third player, all of them with shields, because shields make a lot of sense. One player going for high or like higher mobility, the other ones going for like, well, just more like offensive uh, commanders. And you know what, right now I will just quickly check what kind of uh, cluster bombs. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Do a lot of damage, kind of expected that one. Because the like the disintegrator gun was not loud and all that. And range on it is pretty okay. So, don't think we really need the overlay because it's just a matter of like people using their commander. It's not as if you're missing anything. Because if you're not seeing these two commanders on the field, or like if you're seeing two of the commanders, then it's pretty much the only thing which really matters. Interesting that the like, middle circle is displayed, yet the outside circle is not when you're like hiding the interface. 
Kevin Boy really on the edge. Has to watch out for the circle. And Talas doing a pretty good job at like keeping Kevin Boy pretty much at the edge of the circle. And now, ooh, that is the lot of DPS from the heat ray. Scorchers, weapon, and all that. And oh no, name unknown. That is now a zombie commander on the field, but not actually like a real zombie commander. It doesn't get all of the upgrades, it's just a level one. But now, oh no, Talus. Uh, what? Why is the zombie like stupid? I don't think I've ever seen that. Like the commander like raising its arms like that. Anyways, Talus now versus Deke Blue Diamond. The two gold rank players. And yeah, okay, they didn't really like it. And ooh, yeah, that is the middle of the circle. So Deke Blue Diamond has a bit of a benefit there with the positioning right now. But just purely DPS, Talus should win this. Moving into Talus is also going to hurt, but Talus will at the end of their range is not doing a very good job. And as you can see, yeah, Talus is almost dead. Has to hide behind the mountain. Has to heal up somewhat. 11 and there it goes. But like 61 HP regen. Talus, you're going to die. Deke Blue Diamond is going to be the victor. Unless... No, not unless. Deke Blue Diamond is just going to be the victor. Something completely different from what we're used to seeing, but it was still fun nonetheless for a single video. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left, but that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. So much access. Such lobsters.